given the whole recent Gifford shooting, I I don't know law. I mean, I like I haven't studied law on a higher level, but I do have to wonder at what point does violent rhetoric become punishable? You know, by the same way, you know, a death threat you can you know be punished by the law for that. Why is it okay to say, don't kill all the liberals, leave a few of them alive? Why is that okay? I'm not saying death threats should be okay. I'm saying violent speech like that from people who reach thousands, millions of people, some of whom might not be entirely stable. Why is that okay? I don't understand that. I'm not usually the type, trust me, there are not very many people who are going to be as big fans of freedom of speech as me. I don't care almost no matter what you say. But in this, and, and I'm also usually not the type to say the majority has to, you know, do such and such just because of this minority who, you know, can't handle it. Usually, you know, when it comes to, like, children who might be affected, well, that's kind of the parent's job. Let's not take away a proper expression, you know, culture from the rest of us just because the kids won't be able to handle it. Well, okay, don't, you know, put it up on billboards where they can see. Just let the parents keep their children away from stuff like that. But in this regard, I do have to say, I mean... There is no driver's license to, you know, there is no license to listen to the radio or to watch something on TV. It's more, it's, it's easier to, you know, there's less censorship of language, of violent language in journalistic, if you can call it that. Fox News, in stuff like that, than there is of, you know, violence, and especially sex, in Hollywood movies. Can someone explain the logic here? Can someone just tell me why exactly there is, why is it okay to say, you know, grab your gun and, you know, be ready to, why is that okay? Yeah, I'd like to know if someone has some kind of explanation.